Please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. The sacrament of penance is that sacrament in which, by the absolution of the priest, sins committed after baptism are remitted to the sinner, who repents of his sins, acknowledges them sincerely, and has the will to render resolution to amend his life. The virtual penance, which is insistently recommended in both the Old and New Testaments, and which at all times was a necessary precondition for the forgiveness of sins, is that moral virtue which inclines the will to turn away inwardly from sin and to render atonement to God for it. It consists in sorrow of the soul for sins committed in as much as sin is an offense to God, together with a purpose of amendment. External manifestations of the virtual penance are the confession of sins, the performance of penitential works of every kind, for example, prayer, fasting, almsgiving, mortifications, and the patient bearing of all trials sent by God. Scriptural passages spoke of this virtue in Ezekiel chapter 18. But if the wicked turn away from all their sins that they have committed, and keep all my statutes, and do what is lawful and right, they shall surely live, they shall not die. None of the transgressions that they have committed shall be remembered against them. For the righteousness that they have done, they shall live. Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from their ways and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? Now, therefore, say to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Thus says the Lord, Look, I am a potter, shaping evil against you and devising a plan against you. Turn now, all of you, from your evil way and amend your ways and your doings. When they said, Turn now, every one of you from your evil way and wicked doings, and you will remain upon the land that the Lord has given to you and your ancestors from of old and forever. Prophet Joel, in warning of the Israelites to convert, demanding the conversion of the heart, that transforms into actions. Yet, even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. The book of Sirach calls people to come back to God. Turn back to the Lord and forsake your sins. Pray in His presence and lessen your offense. John the Baptist preached repentance. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Jesus himself begins his public ministry with the call to repentance. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim the good news in Galilee. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near.
In Acts chapter 2, St. Peter, while preaching to the people in the public place, saying, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The message of these passages consists in sorrow of the soul for sins committed, inasmuch as sin is an offense to God, together with the purpose of amendment. Sacred scripture exhorts the sinner to do penance for sins committed. It demands an internal penitential disposition as well as external works of penance. St. Augustine comments that the new life is the end term of penance, not the essence of penance. In the order of grace in the new covenant, the sacrament of penance and the virtue of penance are intimately connected. Since the acts of sorrow, confession and atonement, which appertain to the nature of the sacrament of penance, are applications of the virtue of penance, the sacrament of penance, in fact, cannot be accomplished without the virtue of penance. On the other hand, in the present order of grace, the acts of the virtue of penance of themselves alone cannot bring a baptized mortal sinner to justification if they are not associated at least with a desire to receive the sacrament of penance. Please go to YouTube Retirementality channel, playlist, sacraments for the complete series of these materials.